The terror in Turkey. Travelers run for their lives and crouch for cover after suicide bombers set off massive explosions in one of the world's busiest airports. Good evening, everyone. I'm Maurice Dubois. And I'm Christine Johnson. Here is the very latest out of Istanbul. At least 36 people have been killed, 147 hurt. No reports yet of any groups claiming responsibility, but U.S. officials say this has all the hallmarks of an ISIS attack. And the violence comes just one day after the State Department renewed a warning indicating concern of terrorist threats in Turkey. We have team coverage on the terror attacks. Dave Carlin with more on those travel concerns and stepped up security tonight. But we begin with Tony Aiello live in our newsroom with the latest. Tony. A deadly coordinated attack. The Turkish Prime Minister says three terrorists armed with guns and bomb vests took a taxi to Ataturk Airport, the third busiest in Europe. Travelers who witnessed the aftermath include a recent Fordham University graduate, Adam Keeley. People were shooting on one side, and we all ran the other way, and then the bombs went off. And people were starting running the other way, and there's more shooting. It was a terrifying experience for anyone at the scene, including traveler Lawrence Cameron. I didn't actually hear the explosion. I, I just stepped off the plane, and as I walked around the corner to where the visas are issued, this just massive crowd of screaming people. Um, I mean, just pure panic, people falling over themselves. While some ran, others hid in stores. <laughs> waiting for the all clear from police. Adam Keeley tried to help the injured. One guy had holes in his back from shrapnel, or from, from glass. That, that's where I was holding. An airport surveillance camera captured the moment one of the suicide bombers blew up outside the international terminal. This video appears to show a second attacker who falls, drops a weapon, and several moments later detonates his vest. Suspicion for the attack initially fell on Kurdish separatists who want autonomy or independence from Turkey. But many experts say this looks like the work of ISIS. This also follows an Islamic State uh, MO. Um, we've seen this in other uh, parts of the world uh, where they use suicide attackers, they use um, light arms uh, to go after civilian sites, and in particular a site like this that will not only have dramatic impact in human toll, but will have an economic impact on the country they're trying to affect. President Erdogan of Turkey vowed to be resolute in responding to the attack, saying, quote, Turkey has the power, determination, and capacity to continue the fight against terrorism until the end. Tonight, Turkish officials say two gunmen exchanged gunfire with police at a security checkpoint outside the terminal and then detonated their explosives. A third attacker blew himself up in a parking lot. The prime minister says it looks like an ISIS plot, but no group has claimed responsibility. Christine. All right, Tony, thank you. The